Hey guys, it's Chrissy. Today's video is going to be making my own dough bowls. I've been wanting to do something like this for a really long time, and I figured I'd had some scrap wood around, so I'd give it a try. I started by taking one by eights and just glued them together so that I'd have a little bit more depth inside the bowl. Although at the end, you'll see that I made another one and this was not quite deep enough, so I decided to do another one at the end. So for now, we're doing this one. So I started by sketching uh, just a circle so that I had something to go by. And I'm using my grinder with a wood bit. This takes out a lot of wood at one time. So if you decide to try this, just take out a little bit of wood at one time. Don't try to do too much and try to take too much away at one time. I learned a lot during this project um, is to take your time with something that is spinning really fast and um, I just basically started to mold the sides trying to get a little bit more deep on the side so that I could hand, basically looks like a hand scrape, um, get some of the middle out. So just enjoy the process of watching this come together. I'm changing out my wood boring tip to now a flap disc, which will now be uh, for me to shape more of the higher edges uh, without taking off too much wood at one time. But I still want to maintain that hand scraped look. So as you can see, it makes a very large mess, but worth every minute. So I'm using a little bit of antique wax just to give it some dark areas. Because um, if you remember, um, or if you haven't seen them, um, if you look up some dough bowls, they have some dark areas, some light areas, and that's just based on probably how they scrape it and what kind of wood they're using. But I wanted to give it that authentic dough bowl look, so I gave it a little bit of dark antique wax so that it would get it a little bit deeper in certain areas. 
and I'm just using my Minwax in Fruitwood color. Um, I like this color. It looks a lot like cutting board colors. So you'll see me using a lot of this on my channel. But that's all I use to stain it. So for my second bowl, I went outside. Seems like a smart idea, isn't it? For the mess, mostly. Um, okay, so this time I took a 2 by. I don't remember what size it was, but a 2 by and a 1 by and glued them together. So now what I'll do is have a lot deeper space to remove and have the bowl be a little bit deeper. What I kind of enjoyed on this part was starting to see going going through the first one by and then starting to get down to the second layer. It was pretty cool looking when you started to scrape away um, in layers. So if you can see, you start seeing a little bit of the wood that's underneath as I'm scraping away the top portion. This actually didn't take me that long, although it seems like it might have taken long, but it actually only took me about 20 minutes to carve out this whole bowl. Yes, make sure that you are clamped on pretty tight. This thing will fly off the table if you don't. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so I wanted to put a candle in the dough bowls. Um, I see them like that and I really, really enjoy what they look like. So I just took some leftover candle and a Dollar Tree candle and melted them down. I used a uh, the boiling water method where I just put the jars inside the boiling water and melted them and put some essential oils in there. I put some lavender in there. I do like the smell of lavender. And just decided to pour it in and I used the little bit of wax to hold down my wick. But you will notice that once the rest of the wax got very hot, it didn't hold. So I ended up going back and just re waxing them down and they held a little bit better. And I also put some skewers on top to hold the wicks up until it all dried. I decided to put some flowers inside the wax. I thought it would be a cute addition to just it being white. So I took some baby's breath that I had left over and just started letting them fall to the bottom and let them float on top. And then I decided to take some more of the greenery area, of, more of the stems and let them uh, float on top of the wax because I wanted to see more of that green in the wax when it was dry. And that's pretty much it. Just waited a few hours for it to completely cure and this is how they turned out. I absolutely love this and I hope you do too. And I can scratch it off my project list of all the things that I wanted to try. So if you're new, I hope that you'll subscribe. If you love videos like this, keep watching and give it a big thumbs up and have a great day. Take care.